Earlier today, Speaker Nancy Pelosi was wheels up in Taiwan. She is continuing her overseas trip headed to South Korea and Japan. Her visit to Taiwan met with a lot of backlash from communist China, but 26 Senate Republicans, in an unusual show of support, praised the Speaker's visit. In a joint statement, the senator said, quote, we are also committed now more than ever to all elements of the Taiwan Relations Act. Spearheading this letter, Alaska Senator Dan, Dan Sullivan set, joins me. Nice to see you, Senator. Good to be on the program, Greta. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Senator, okay, I'm, so, I'm always curious. Maybe it's the contrarian in me. 26 signed on with you. That leaves 24 Republican senators who did not. Were they out of town? They said no. They had a different idea. What happened to the other 24? Well, you know, uh, we, we tried to reach a lot of folks, but it was kind of a quick turnaround, to be honest. But 26 senators, that's one quarter of the whole U.S. Senate, made a statement that we thought was really important, and that was supporting the Speaker's trip. As we mentioned in the statement, you know, legislators, myself included, have been going to Taiwan for decades, and we shouldn't let the Chinese Communist Party dictate where senior American officials can travel. So that was the whole point of the letter. You know, as you, you know very well, Greta, I certainly don't always agree with Nancy Pelosi, but I thought at this moment, once she was there, that it was important for Americans to close ranks and not let the Chinese Communist Party try to drive a wedge between us on her trip. They're the ones who've been bombastic about it, and uh, that's why we came out and strongly said we support her right to go. And I guarantee you other members of Congress are going to continue to support the island democracy of Taiwan. Um, did anybody flat out say no to you? Well, look, I'm not going to get into the details. Like I said, uh, okay. turning All right, a I got letter it by, All right, like I got, that I, around I, in, in, in a, qui in a I, quick I, amount I, of time was pretty good. 26 senators don't agree on everything. You saw other senators, Manchin, uh, Senator Menendez, some of the Democrats came out and strongly supported her trip as well. So I think, again, the bipartisan support that we wanted to demonstrate and really to show the Chinese Communist Party, hey, you know, we have our differences here as American elected officials, but when it comes to Taiwan, as we mentioned in that letter, we are more committed now than ever to the Taiwan Relations Act. And as you know, that's all about supporting is the it? island democracy of Taiwan. That is official U.S. policy that we're committed to. All right. Um, Alaska has a, a huge military presence. I think you have over 22,000 active members of the military there. You are, you are, you are military as well. Um, it, how, how important is this um, to the United States, you know, to, the, to the members of the military, that, that, that this happened? Well, look, you know, Alaska, as you know, Greta, because you've been up there a lot, and we love it when you come to visit, but I like to say, you know, we constitute several pillars of America's military strength. Uh, one, we're the cornerstone of a missile defense for the whole country, so whether it's the Chinese or the North Koreans, Alaska, the missiles, the radar systems protect all of America. But we are the hub of combat power in terms of uh, the Air Force, we have over 100 fifth generation fighters, that's F 22s, F 35s, um, in Alaska. And as you know, given our geographical location, those fighters can get anywhere in the world Russia, China, the Taiwan Strait in a very quick amount of time. There's no place on the planet Earth that has 100 fifth gen fighters ready for battle. And we do in Alaska. And that's one of the reasons why it's so important to our nation but also to the Indo-PACOM region. As you know, when you've been there, we're pretty much in the Indo-PACOM region in Alaska, and it's really good that our adversaries know how strong we are militarily in the great state of Alaska. And let me give a plug for the state of Alaska. Any of you are out there, if you've never been to Alaska, it is a beautiful, spectacular place to visit. Indeed, it is an important state. Senator Dan Sullivan, thank you, sir.